You're tuned in to Just One Hot Mom with host Nanika Ansari. Get ready. She's about to bring you that fire, that flavor, that heat, all that passion, and more from around the world and in your neighborhood. Stay tuned. Hey, hotties, it's Nanika Ansari of Just One Hot Mom, and guess what? It's been one year since we came to you live and in living color on ElevationsRadio.com. I am so excited to be celebrating this anniversary today. I, I, I don't even know what to say. So I thought like no just random guest today. Not that we do randoms, but just this had to be special. So today you guys are going to meet the reason why I started Just One Hot Mom. In the studio with me are my three reasons for being. I have Simone, Jamil, and Anissa. Can you guys say hi? Hey. Hello. And in case you guys don't know, these are the hottest kids in the neighborhood. If you want to call in and talk to the family, the number is 440-252-0518. So here we go. I invited them in the studio today because, of course, one, they always want to do a show together, but we can't come up with a topic. <laughs> and two, because you guys need to meet the reason behind all of this love, this fire, this flavor, this heat that I bring. So, Simone. Yes. How are you today? I'm good. Scoot up, we can't hear you. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. What have you been up to? What's going on? Um, work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since I started the blog, and anyone can chime in, since I started the blog, what do you think, the blog, the podcast, the radio show, like what has been the biggest change in our household for you? Oh, um, well... I don't really live with you guys right now. Yeah. So she's booted. <laughs> she's been booted from but, the um everybody wants to do something. Everybody, you know, everybody's like doing their own thing. Like Jamil wants to play basketball. Anissa got her little modeling thing going on. And, it's not yeah. little, it's big. Okay. Big <laughs> modeling thing going on and then you are just you're so glowing. What do you have going on? Um I'm in school now too. What are you I'm in school for? Culinary arts and business. Okay, put yourself out there. What do you do? Like, she got this whole little thing going <laughs> on, and she acting well, shy right now. Shoot your shot. I do catering. Okay, I what's the name of your business? Moans Meals. All right, how can we reach you, Moans Meals? <laughs> um, on my Instagram page, it's Moans Meals. Okay, cool. And what do you specialize in? I don't want to have to keep asking I you. I specialize something. in every type of food. What do you mean? Can you cook? <laughs> no, she is really good at cooking. I'm really proud of all three of my kids. Simone is uh, going to culinary arts school, and she has Moan Mill catering going on. But Simone and Jamil behind the scenes are also uh, working on video shoots. So you guys go and check out their work on Ghetto Kids Big Dreams TV. That's Ghetto Kids Big Dreams TV. They are shooting behind the scenes. So Jamil is doing photography, and Simone, you're actually shooting videos, right? Yes. And so they're working on a project right now as soon as they leave here they are getting ready to gear up and go out and work on hard. these kids got to be put to work it's too many bills to be paid for them not to be put to work <laughs> yes and then little miss anisa how are you anisa good good are you excited to be on today yes okay <laughs> what have you been up to nothing <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you have going on for tomorrow I have a big fashion show tomorrow and we're going face painting in the park and I'm gonna get, and then we're gonna get all the supporters. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so as you can see, it's not just me that's on fire this year, but I told my kids when we first started and launched this project that we were all gonna live out our best lives, that whatever we could imagine we wanted to do, we were gonna do it. And so I wanted to be a living witness to say like, hey, you guys, I'm not just gonna tell you that you can do it, I'm going to live it with you guys. So, uh, okay, next question. Are you guys ever embarrassed <laughs> by the stories that I tell about you guys? No. <laughs> You're not embarrassed? It's, it's, it's certain stories. I, I've lived longer than both of these two, so I have some experience. You have more stories to I tell. I have way more stories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let your brother come from behind. Gosh, this is my one and only son. We have a question. Drop the link for uh, what your food, Moans Meals. Oh, What's your Instagram. It's Instagram, Moans Meals, M-O-N-E-S-M-E-A-L Meals. Is it Meals with an S? It's Meals with an S. Okay. I don't like Z's. Okay. 
All right, so Sean John, that's his nickname. What do you have going on? Like, what have you been up to? Nothing. I've been working up at Luther and East, playing basketball, and... Y'all hear that deep voice. It's like very white. <laughs> hey, son. Jamil is my one and only son, and he is an amazing young man. What is it? Okay, for you, question. What is it like to live with all these women in the house? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like... It feels like y'all dominating over me. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you like our black girl magic? Yeah, but what about black man magic? <laughs> so we need to start. We need to start expressing some black men magic. Should we bring that to the show? Black men magic. Well, you need to name it something else. Y'all can't just have black girl magic. Black sir magic. <laughs> black sir magic. <laughs> okay, if you guys could remember one time, you have a call. Okay, hey, hey, caller, you're on with just one hot mom and the hottest kids. Hello. 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 Hey. Hi, caller. Hey, sis. Hey, who is this? This is me. Hey, Miss V. Hi, Anissa, say hi to Miss V. <laughs> hi, Miss V. <laughs> hey, sis, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. We went from seeing each other every day that I haven't seen you in months. I miss you. I know. I know. I'm just calling to say congratulations for one awesome hot year. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank many you. I more appreciate to it. Thank, and the same to you. If you guys don't know who this is, this is Valencia Joy of Hey V TV and Hey Sis Hey. You guys should go on over and check her out on YouTube. So, see, I, we support all people doing all things. And so we are living our best life. And I, are you going to be out tomorrow yeah. at Payton in the Park, Clee? I'm going to stop by. Yes, ma'am. Cool. So, yeah. So, come and see your best friend walking in the fashion show. She's walking at the 130 fashion show and at 330. She'll be on the uh, uh, ripping the runway. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. Have a good show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Love you too. Bye-bye. All right, Sean. So he's saying that we should come up with something called a black men's magic. You're going to have to come up with something else because right now, black girl magic is taking over. <laughs> but we're going to support you. Young king magic. Young king magic. Why does it have I to be magic? I didn't want to say that, but there's young small king. turkey for me. <laughs> young king. Young Just king. Young That's kings. good. Young king. So there you go, son. You got a movement that you need to start. You can start young king magic. <laughs> and boom, there you have it. There you go. <laughs> so is there anything that you guys want to say? Is there anything you want me to change about the show or what would you like to see more of or less of more stories less stories about you uh, yes ma'am you raised your hand <laughs> that I like about like <laughs> at, about the show I like to add a new uh, like add a new person adding a new person who should that new person be uh, our dad <laughs> So one handsome dad is at work today, but I see she wants him to get added to the show. Can I, can I think about that? Can we vote on it when we get home? Mm -hmm. You think that would be a good thing? Any, I vote on it for, uh, <laughs> like, like, it's like accommodated for us three to be in the show. Oh, okay. You want to you wanna accommodate. What? That, that's that four-year-old vocabulary. She wants me to accommodate oh, them. Okay, you know what? You I'm not going to be worried about you. So, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let your brother and sister talk. Are there anything else that you guys want to see added? Jamil, Simone, what would you guys like to see? Don't hit the table. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Jamil, go ahead. You add go. myself. You want to be added to the show? Yes. Okay. I want to be the added to it. <laughs> and Simone, what about you? Um, Is there anything you think should be added or taken away? Nothing, nothing taken away. It's actually really good. Yeah, um, I would say take it like outside. Like do like some type of vlogging with it, like some type vlogging. of advertising. Yeah, like some uh, type of advertisement with it. So. Okay. So there you have it. My kids who are in the industry now are, are making their suggestions for the show. Hold on. Before, because we have other family here, you guys. It's not just the kids in the studio. We have other family. Yes, here. I'm sorry, sweetie. Yes. How can I help you? All the family we have here is... We know. We, we know. know. Wait, there is a surprise. You can't tell <laughs> them yet. We can't tell everybody who's here just yet. So to wrap this up, 
in a year it's been one year since mom has started doing this what's been the best thing about this year uh the best thing about this year is school school, <laughs> school that was the best thing about this year <laughs> for you for school okay anisa is going to kindergarten in case you guys didn't know jamil you get to learn and stuff and you get to, <laughs> you, get to you get to do everything at school okay we're really gonna think about adding you to the show you just seem to have a gift and a talent for this look oh she want to hear herself look a robin then created a monster okay go ahead what 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 do you like about the show now what, what do you like about the show about the show i just like about the show it's like we have all our only us here. I just love it. You just love being here. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're here, and I love you too, Jamil. Over the last year since I've started the show, what is the best thing you've seen come out of the show? What is it for you? Let Jamil answer. Mm. Go ahead. Our glow up. Our glow up. Oh, <laughs> okay, wait. Can Simone go next? I mean, you can co-host with me. I'm not opposed <laughs> to accommodating your need to be on the, the show, business right? Okay. Right okay, but can Simone, Simone? So since starting the show, what has been the best part? What has been the best part of the show for you? Um, you've broken a lot of barriers. Like you, you think came, so? You, yes, you have came a long way. <laughs> very, very like <laughs> high confidence. And yourself, and you got. I've seen you going to more events than ever this Even, whole year. Really? Yes, I'm actually really proud. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> the oldest hot kid dropping compliments and stuff. Well, you guys know that I love you. You are amazing, and we're gonna take this as far as we can go. As we're gonna About dream the, show. the impossible dream. Can you wrap up with the last comment, please? What What do you have to say? Go ahead. About the show, I love. <laughs> I just love the show and the comments and the and the beat. Oh. Okay. You know what? That's why I like you. <laughs> that is you. All right. I'm sorry. Let let Jamil say something. I wanted to keep this as a surprise because I didn't I didn't want to announce it yet. But then the coach at the coach at Luther and he's talk, <laughs> talking about he wanted me to be starting freshman shooting guard for for a team. So okay. there you have it. Yay! So everybody is out here living their big dreams and doing everything. I'm so proud of you. You guys, wait, let me just say you all are amazing kids. I'm very proud of everyone and I promise that whatever you guys dream, uh, until my last breath, we're going to make it happen for you guys. Okay? So can you tell everybody bye? Bye. 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 See y'all. <laughs> I didn't. So okay, one last comment, please. <laughs> Okay, you guys. So there you have it. Mommy, in case, can, I tell them? can you tell them what? No, no. I'm too. I'm too. I'm too nervous. <laughs> you use the word accommodate, and you use it correctly. I'm just too nervous about what you're gonna say next. You guys, in case you don't know, you can follow me and the hottest kids on the blog at Just One Hot Mom, or go on over to the YouTube channel where they have officially taken over. We are relaunching and we are rebranding, so expect to see more of them. I love you guys. We got a new video. Oh yeah, well, we will be launching a new video next week. So, all right, can you guys send in? Gonna We're going to go take a short like break so that we can bring in the next okay. guest. Uh, hotties, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, hotties. Welcome back. And as you know, we are celebrating Just One Hot Mom's one year anniversary live on Elevations Radio. And it was one year ago today that the first show aired and so let me tell y'all none of this would be possible i wouldn't be the hot mama at that i am without the original hottest mom so here with me today is my mom hey, hey. hello up, we can't hear you <laughs> so this is my mom christine moore sanders she is the hottest in the streets like i call myself that but honestly you know i had to get this fire this flavor this heat from somewhere so i had to get it from my mom so, hey, mom, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. And let me tell y'all. proud of you. you Yes. <laughs> my mom is like my number one fan. If nobody is watching the show or listening to the show, you guarantee Christine is outside with the sign telling people that they should be tuned in and That's listening. That's my baby. <laughs> you better be watching. You better be listening. So, mom, since yes. I started the show, what do you see has changed about the dynamic of our family? How has the show changed our family? Oh, I think it changed because 
you have really grown uh, tremendously a lot. <laughs> you know, you are, I mean, you've always been outgoing and, you know, speak what's on your mind. But <laughs> I was a jerk, y'all. Now you're giving out, you give out so much information and our family just, we just have, we have a tight bond. Mm -hmm. We truly have a tight bond in our family, you know, and stuff. We don't play around, you know, well, we have fun and stuff, but we are like the ride or die family. You know, that is the truth. Y'all better tune in. Y'all want to know yes, how we do it. That's how we do it. <laughs> you know? Okay, so like I told y'all, I come from a talented family. Not only are my kids behind the scenes shooting videos, model walking, but my mom, if you are looking for a baked good in Cleveland, Ohio, then you want to check her out. She is the visionary, the baker, the awesomeness, the deliciousness behind One More Bite. Can you tell us about One More Bite? Well, One More Bite, it started off actually with Simone when she was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue about baking cakes or doing any designs or anything. And Nikki, of course, wanted a teddy bear cake for her first birthday, for Simone's birth first birthday. So I stayed up all night long no, trying to figure it out. <laughs> a very demanding person. <laughs> so I finally got this teddy bear cake done and it was really good. And then people just started asking me, could I do this and do that? And I mean, I just come up with it as I go along. So, you know, that's... And so, see, I told y'all I plant seeds and businesses grow. You better get at me. Right. So, you know? okay. So tomorrow, not only will uh, Anissa be model walking uh, <laughs> at Pain in the Park, Clee, but you guys need to come over and visit because I will be posted up at just one, um, one more bite. I don't know. I just said just one more bite. It's one just more one bite, more bite. <laughs> a table bite. where we will have all the deliciousness. Okay. So what you serving up tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we'll have um, we're just basically cupcakes I'm doing tomorrow. I'm doing strawberry crunch, Oreo cookie and cream. Uh, what else? Uh, red velvet, lemon. lemon. Oh, lemony lemon. Brownies. Her brownies are to die no, for. Are you gonna do the brownies? No, everybody can order them later. No, don't. <laughs> and then I did some blueberry lemon scones and some chocolate chip cookies if y'all are following my if y'all are following my <laughs> fitness journey then you know why i have a fitness issue it's because of my mama uh, <laughs> I, don't even eat, I, don't, I don't even eat sweets that's the whole thing my mom is a vegetarian in case you guys did not know that she is a vegetarian the rest of the family is not we eat real bacon and stuff like that okay so uh, I'm just thinking of so what is your favorite part of the show like because you tune in every week like we have like well, she critiques to. she critiques me after the show <laughs> what what was one of your favorite shows oh gosh when my, oh I like all of them but um uh, this thing okay so I think we talked to the one like after Tanya Higgins did her show um, who else was it? I'm trying to think. There's so many shows. My Jesus. The Man uh, Code. Uh, oh, that was one of my favorite. It was all right. It, wasn't, it, was, it was all right. You know. Oh, I'm trying I should have been here on yes, that one. Yes. That's, I should have been in because they didn't know what they were talking they about. Did. They didn't know what they were talking about. You know, they, they still wet behind the ear. <laughs> but I'm trying to think. What was the show? Oh, I think. Well, we didn't do this one live, but I know one of my favorite, my mom's favorite people is Clotilde. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. If you guys yes. don't know to cook, she is so, so real. <laughs> Clotia Mack from Forgiveness yes. Forward, her and my mom became close friends yes. because yes. we did a show. Yes. So yes. I think was, that's probably one of your yeah, most that favorite was one shows. One of my favorite shows. And then the one you did with the uh, cancer. Yeah. All right, Tanya. Yeah, that was that was my favorite show too. That was one of my favorite shows. So okay, so what I asked the kids is too. What do you think should be added or taken away from the show? I'm is there anything sure. I should add? Do I need a co-host? You think I need a co-host? Yeah, you should have me. <laughs> Every everybody in the family is shooting a shot today. I see hey, that now. You should have um, a team. <laughs> Come on now, we can work this. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna consider. Um, like Lenise said, I can't have nothing. Like, I'm going to consider uh, adding you guys to the show. But, well, okay, so after Pain in the Park, Lee, what's next for you? Well, I'm going to do some networking events. You know, coming up on uh, Wednesday 
at um what is that the bottle winery up on Lee Road is having a the Cleveland Urban Winery not that one no I think I thought it was called bottle it might be I think it's further down the street yeah Mm -hmm. um they having a networking event um there uh for baking and pies and just doing so so I'll probably do some pies and go up there and all right, so if you guys have not checked her out already, what's your Instagram? Oh, Miss Chris ten fifteen. So Miss Chris ten fifteen on Instagram. I promise you will see pictures of me and the kids taking bites of cupcakes because it's just remember it's one more bite, and you want to check out Miss Chris ten fifteen on Instagram so that you can see all her delectable treats. <laughs> all right, so if you had to offer. You're my mom. So if you had to offer me some words of wisdom moving forward, what would those words of wisdom be? Just continue to be who you are. I told y'all. That's why I can't act no other way. Just continue to be who you are. Don't change for nobody. You know, just make yourself be the strong woman that all of us women in this family are. You know, (laughs) we are very strong and we strong willed. And that's who you have. You have to continue to be who you are. So, and in case y'all didn't get it, this is my mama. Yes, honey, those black don't crack. Those magic jeans is working overtime oh, today. <laughs> <laughs> well, mom, thank you so much for all your encouragement and all your support and all your love. And I'm just going to continue to make you proud. Oh, girl. Do you know what? You can make me proud, but make yourself even prouder. Well, thank you. No, that's what you do. Hotties, we are going to transition guests again because I got one of my, I got, I got two of my favorite people coming in the studio next. You don't want to miss it so stay tuned (laughs) i'll be right back (laughs) hey hotties welcome back and if you are just tuning in we are celebrating one year and so what other way should i celebrate than to bring family and friends or well everybody's family i ain't gonna lie to you i can't even say nobody's a friend but in the studio with me right now i have are they gonna argue over the title of bestie you guys know my sister aisha yeah y'all know that's my best friend but my best friend is vanessa <laughs> so Hi, if guys. you guys don't remember they were my first original show it was uh the queen's court we did together where we talked about relationship issues and uh just putting everybody on blast so since the queen's court that's been a whole year wow a whole year ago all right vanessa what has changed about your life i was mad now <laughs> 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 yes, it's official, and we just recently celebrated one year too, so it makes this uh, week very special for us. And uh, we're still surviving. Surviving. I'm so proud of you. So, it's been, so they just celebrated their one year anniversary. This is one year. It's just like a lot of major things are going on this year, and so. What have you been up to? So my sister, you guys know she does the show on a regular basis. She, um, what have you been up to? Uh, everything but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Working, um, obviously, in team, still with my team moms, and um, being a mom, and yeah, and I, I have a man. <laughs> I had him a year ago. He's still around. <laughs> and I was at her wedding. You were at her Surviving. So still everybody surviving. is surviving. Like, so we're, we're all collecting data. Well, you're done collecting data. Uh, but we are all still collecting data, waiting for that, you know, that ring pop. That ring pot going on. Mm-hmm. We, I still collect. It's just a different type of data. You be using it for like different reasons <laughs> and stuff like that. You still be collecting. No, like nope. Drop us that Mary. <laughs> like, see, I see it, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so when we initially did the show, we talked a lot about um, how we as women, you know, sacrifice a lot of stuff and what we do first. And Vanessa still to this day makes this comment to me like, you have to secure yourself first. Do you still feel that way even in your Absolutely, because it's even more true now because you cannot love, you can't give love unless you love yourself Mm -hmm. first. You have nothing to give if your well is dry, then what are you giving? Can you really be beneficial to someone? So you got to water yourself first. You got to grow that up, get your foundation strong before you have anything to give off to someone. Y'all see why? That's my bestie. That's my bestie. (laughs) Okay, and so Isha is like modest, and I know I probably made this announcement before, but you are actually taking, a, you know, you're taking teen mom mentoring to a whole nother level, right? 
Because right now you're over. Uh, what's your new title? Can you speak into the mic? I can speak into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> what is your new I'm over the Eastern Division for Young Lives. So Young Lives is a ministry for pregnant and parents and teen moms. And we're all over the U.S. and in 92 countries and all that other great stuff. So, um, yeah, it's been exciting. And I love working with teen moms. And I still mentor here in the city. So, so see y'all, like it's been, it's seeds have been planted and people are growing businesses and doing major things. Okay, so you guys watch the show, you listen to the show sometimes. What was like a most memorable moment for you? Anybody could take that question. Um, I do. I have to be biased. I think King, the Queen's Court, King's Court was like, <laughs> too. Was like, like not gonna say show. I think we opened a lot of uh buckets up for questions and um i think that those type of things should go on a lot more because you could use all those things in like all facets of your life and it's, we don't share enough mm -hmm. everyone always think they're going through something alone but oh, as soon child. as somebody <laughs> speak up you like oh whether you choose to admit that you're struggling with the same issues or not money finance romance whatever it is if someone you know puts it on the table automatically it's just another level of calm to let you know like Oh, I'm not alone. Somebody else doing yeah. this, too. And see, I always tell people, like, the reason the first start of the show was to get the stories from people. Like, we all think we're doing life alone, that it's just me going through this thing. But no, if you ask the questions, people will give you the Sometimes. stories. Yeah. I'm nosy, though. I will get it from you. <laughs> Y'all to know. Like, if I want to know something, I'm going to dig deep. All right, so, Isha, if we had to bring a change to the show, what would you like to see different? A change? Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me critique you. Well, let me see what I would do you differently. You always now. critique. <laughs> um, I think I would like to see more of the Queen's Court. If you guys do, drop a comment. <laughs> that you right there, see. drop that line right there. You can there. call in and give us a shout out because it was a great show. And I it agree really was. Um, with Vanessa that um, it just gives people, it's, it's allowing people to be transparent. A lot of times we have like social media and all these other things that don't allow us to be transparent. But all of us, we don't care. Like, we don't care about sharing our ups and our downs, and um, we know that that's not the end, end of our story. So we love sharing, and we love helping people through that. All right, you guys, it's been an amazing year, and I'm glad you guys are on this journey with me. I don't think I could do it without you guys, even though I, I like, disappear on them for time periods because I need to be alone. Uh, that I don't know. I turn, like, slight introvert a little bit sometimes, but you yeah, not for long. But I just want to thank you guys for being supportive during this entire journey, for uh, knocking me down and helping me get back up whenever I needed to. You guys are amazing women, and I will be reactivating the Queen. Queen's Court very soon because there are some topics that come up. I think we're going to cover, Robin covered one the other day, which is the angry black woman. Oh. And I would love to get a bunch of y'all angry chicks Ooh. in the studio. First and see I'm not angry. I'm oh, not I angry. am. I'm Sometimes angry. my neck hurt. I don't know what that's from, If this neck though. twists to the side, honey, <laughs> I'm angry. And if I start clapping them heads, I think I tell them this uh -oh. all the time, like once Syllables. the heads start clapping, <laughs> <laughs> then it's all that popping bad. Thank you guys so much for coming in and celebrating with me today. Day, if it wasn't for you guys, thank you. Congratulations, you, guys. you know, well, I wouldn't very, have stories to tell. Very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, hotties, there are. So the Queen's Court is in, but of course, you know, those fellas from the Man Code contacted me. And so coming into the studio next are two guys from the Man Code. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey hotties, welcome back and we're still celebrating one year. So I know you guys were expecting Man Code next, but I had to bring in the king here, the one who uh, helped my mama make me one of the hottest mamas out here, none other than my dad, Jamal Sorry, Hey dad. How are you doing, babe? I'm good. How are you today? I'm fine, fine. So if you guys recall, my dad and I did a show called Policing the Communities. It was one of, I think it's like one of the hottest shows and it's one of my favorite shows. One, because I did it with my dad. I am a huge daddy's girl and because I think we gave a lot of information to the community. Uh, okay, but let's get a serious question in here right quick. So since that show, um, I think my thoughts of how the police in the community have changed. I know a couple other people, too. But with recent events with these shootings and gang violence in the community, how do you think um, we as a people can change that? Like, you know, how can we still move forward when, you know, our babies are dying in the streets? Well, I think the biggest thing is that the people have to start to believe in the police again. The police are not your enemy. I know it seems that way 
I know the all of the hoorah and all that hopla is about what the police are doing to the community. But look who's killing our kids. We're killing each other. We're killing our kids. There is no reason for any reasonable person to see someone across the street and start shooting at them without thinking of the people that are around. So, again, we have to learn to trust the police and we have to demand that the police do their job and their job is to stop this. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that tidbit of information from him because, I mean, you know, in Cleveland recently, we've had so many shootings and shootings of young people. And so, okay, so to get back on the celebration tip. So, sir, since I started the show, have you noticed a difference or a change in me? Um, I can't say that because I'm always proud of you in the way that you are. You know, again, she may be a daddy's girl, but I spoil her and her sister and my grandkids all the time. So... For me, it's what I expect. It's not necessarily something that, you know, is growing. It's what I expect and that it's continuous growth. And I'm proud of that. It's proud of that today as I was the day you were born. See, y'all, he gonna make me cry in here. That's my daddy. But in case you guys know, my dad planted a seed in us a long time ago. I always tell people, like, um, I, I didn't grow up with daddy issues because I had a steady dad in my life. And so my dad always planted inside of us to be the best that we could be, to excel in everything that we've always done. And so when he says that continue growth, it ain't no like pat you on your back. Oh, you're doing well. He like, I expect you and I expect you to do more and take it to a whole nother level. So I'm glad that you are still saying that to us there. What have you been up to since... Um, <laughs> He's in serious retirement mode, y'all. Like, he is in serious. What are you doing in your retirement? Nothing. Um, <laughs> you don't retire to do something. I mean, if you've got a hobby, you play golf or things like that, or you travel, that's fine. But I've never been one to believe that you retire to get a job. Mm -hmm. I already got a job. So if I retire, why am I going to a job? So I'm still doing the same thing, retire without a job. <laughs> are you traveling more? trying not to you know how i feel about <laughs> my, for his daughters to be extreme extroverts my dad is an introvert to the core he's like you coming over when let's <laughs> set the time frame up and so well i'm just happy and i'm so happy to call you dad you are an amazing father and i know we tell you this all the time like you really uh planted a seed as far as you know having two daughters no son <laughs> but you know what i'm saying like you still pushed us forward and you never i, I don't ever remember us being girls being an issue with how you pushed us to do better in our lives it was never a thought like these my daughters and you know i have to treat them this way he just was like hey this is what you guys need to do in your life to excel and to be better and so i appreciate that because it did it made me a better person it made me a better woman it just made me all around you know want to see better for myself and for my family so thank you sir well the only thing i can say to that is that intelligence and success does not know sexual gender there's no gender. You're not a successful man or a successful woman or an intelligent man or intelligent woman. You're intelligent people, whether it be man or woman. You're so smart. That's where I get it from. That's where I get it from. He, you know, when I drop those little gems, it's probably because I talk to my <laughs> father every day, every single day, maybe multiple times a day, just so I could pick up those little gems and share them with you guys. So, Dad, thank you for coming in. Thank you for stepping outside of your comfort zone and being here two times. I'm not, I'm not going to ask him to do it again, y'all. But thank you for being here two times. Thank you for your love and your support and for helping me live my dreams. I truly appreciate it. Congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you. Love you, man. I love you too. Mm -hmm. All right, hotties. Now, coming in the studio next, you know it's Jason and Rick. We're talking man code. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, hotties. Welcome back. You are tuned into Just One Hot Mom, and we are here celebrating one year on the air at elevationsradio.com. Okay, uh, I knew this was coming and I prepared my heart, my mind, and my soul. In the studio with me, I have my brothers, Rick and Jason. They are the King's Court and the Man Code. Hey, fellas. Howdy. <laughs> yeah. How's everybody? You know First of all, let's We're just... back. We're back. 
And we're here. As, I don't know. Did you talk to us at all in 2018? Did we do Mad Code 2018? No, we didn't. No. We didn't. You know what? No, we did. I think keep, we did. We did. Y'all did come. We did, to the we did part two. Yes, we, we did, did part two. two. Yeah. You know what? They really think that I should just hand my show it, over to them, it, and you know yeah. they could just start. No, yeah. not it's today. Not not today. It's all about sir. the ratings. Not today. <laughs> all right, fellas. This was hot so in the streets, baby. Today is about <clears throat> moi, not your man code. So here are my questions. Since doing the Man Code show, how has your life changed? Have you gotten more um, followers, or have you? <laughs> Do you have fans now? I, I got yelled at. Oh, <laughs> you should have got, got yelled at. I got home and I got home and I was. <laughs> I got home and I got. Uh, I, got to, I got totally uh, yelled at. When Rick was on the show, he uh, he released that his significant other wore a fall, and she was not excited. She about She was that. not happy about the fall. I said it looks nice. <laughs> but she didn't feel that, so I tried so, to warn you. He did, did try to warn me, man. You know what though? I mean, is you know, she, she got braids now, so it's hot. You, you know? know what? So, <laughs> in case you guys did not figure out, Jason is celebrating his one year anniversary. He's married to Vanessa. Yes, isn't that great? Like he is so lucky. I survived. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking about survival, and then Rick is with my sister and he survived congratulations i don't know man <laughs> she's <laughs> she's starting to have these mood swings we gotta talk about this we gotta go counseling. oh my god you know <laughs> i i don't want him to get murdered tonight i'm proud i don't of care him. she can do whatever she thinks she's gonna do i'm safe as He's long as I, that as now. long as i as long as i put it on video <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So since the show has aired, like, what did you like about the show? What did you like about being on the show? What was your favorite part? Uh, for me, it's just being around, the, you know, being around the other brothers. And we only one half of the men's court. So mm -hmm. we're missing Marlon and the, Al. The King's yes. Court. Yeah. So, yeah, we're missing those guys. And um, just to kind of give a little bit, you know, uh, back to a, pers a perspective that you guys really don't want. It's like barbershop talk. You know, we really don't let you guys listen to that stuff. So, it's, it's, you know, you can't just go in a barbershop and just listen. I mean, unless, you know, you get your son's haircut and yeah, you, you know, yeah, it's a man code. We can't know every hear. time I bring them in, it just be a man takeover. I it is a man takeover. Why. That's what happens. You why know, just, I even try? Uh, but it, it was, uh, it, it was, it was just nice bonding with, you know, with you and, and then the guys and just kind of, you, admit, you know, I'm pretty dope. I mean, yeah. says says who? <laughs> Who's who? Don't start. We got her to change her thing. intro. That was that was what's up. <laughs> I you think know? that that was his main thing. I was <laughs> working on that. She actually do doing better now. I mean, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you like about the show now? Not about your show. What do you like about the show now? I mean, it's informative. It's it's a very eclectic, you know, eclectic uh, topics and stuff. You know. And uh, I think it covers a lot for you know a lot of people that's listening. You know. Well, thank you, Jason. Yes, you hardly ever talk. Like he's a part of the group, but he's more off the scenes part of the group. I have to dig. Give him tequila. Deep. He'll talk all day. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm off too much. tequila for the next like 28 days. So let's not even go there right now. But Jason, so what would you do to like if you had to add something to the show? What would you add? And if you say us, I mean, yeah, <laughs> more of us. We only come on the show once in a while. I think you should have us there. I more. think people want to see us. People will get tired if I. They won't get tired. Oh, time. We're new. Oh. We Everything we do is topic. new. Like, we, should, we should get one so much. What do you guys want to talk about? Everything. Everything. Sports, ladies. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Okay, Exes. so apparently it's everybody's it's everybody's <laughs> day to shoot their <laughs> shot to join to co-host with me. I I don't know who. Or maybe we will get a co-host soon. But I just want to thank you guys. These are really my brothers. They support me in everything I do. Yeah, congratulations! I can, thank you. Yeah, one year, thank man. You. I remember you talking about it. And you did it. I'm so proud of you. Yay! You know, no, so I'm just so glad that you changed up changed your intro though. Well, are you, you, you remember the old one? Remember the old one? Hey, you guys, you're back with me. You guys are sorry. <laughs> and we were just here with one hot mouth. I can't yeah, stand yeah. Oh, oh, that's real radio. We ain't really that cool. Now, now she voice. sounds like she belongs on radio. Well, thank you. you I know, appreciate say? the compliment. And I appreciate you guys, for one, for coming in and dropping all your knowledge, for sharing your lives with me, and for supporting me and my family. <laughs> like, you know, you don't find that too often that you just meet people in the streets. And literally, I just met, I just know Jason because of Vanessa. And I honestly just know Rick because of my sister. That's, that's messed it, up. It, it right. is yeah. like I think we we argue back and forth. I thought we had. I said I met close. you guys. You know what? You know what I have. I wouldn't you, know you. Do you know what I have you under and on my phone? What? What, Rick? Nikki's sister-in-law. Oh, 
<laughs> you better hurry up. I'm not. Okay. Don't worry about me. I got this covered. Just shut up. <laughs> Don't be trying to steal my thunder. <laughs> you going to get my sister together. No. <laughs> no, but thank you guys so much for being willing to help and support me and to just love me like I was your real biological sister. I know we've become sister and friends over time, and it's just been an amazing journey, and I'm glad to have you guys come along with me. So thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we, we're ready to come back. Well, you guys heard it. If you guys want Man Code or King's Court to come back into the studio, then Type I'm going to need back y'all down in the to, comments. like, yeah, drop it in the comments. Like, bring them brothers back on because they in a fight right now because you heard the Queen's Court said the Queen's Queen. Court was only you on know, one time. I have time. a suggestion. I think it's time for we, uh, an to interview come. from you. We need to get you, 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 you interviewed. Somebody needs to come on here and interview Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Who up to the show? <laughs> who, who up to the show? I think me and Jason both can oh do, it. do it. Yeah. Okay, so y'all heard that that may be a future show. I may Maybe get an interview. We gonna get all. You gonna get it all angles, man. I ain't never scared. <laughs> you, you, you better be. Never scared. You better be scared. <laughs> so thank you guys. I want to thank my brothers for coming in and hanging out with me. They are the King's Court, aka Man Code. Uh, thank you, and you guys live your life, live your best life. Chadis, we're gonna take a short break. I have one more special guest in the studio with me, and she is an amazing. You guys are gonna remember her from Curvy in Cleveland. I have my girl Nick Wolf coming in next, so we'll talk to you in a moment. Hey, Hotties, welcome back. And as you know, we are celebrating one year on the air. And so I invited in the studio with me a couple of guests that I previously had on the show, mainly my family. So now you know that those people are really my family, and that's why I'm a nut job. But, um, <laughs> but I thought it was important that I brought somebody that I really began to build a relationship and a friendship with once the show ended. We really got together. And this is her real name is not Nick Wolf, you guys. <laughs> But that is her Instagram. And so, hey, so you're Curvy at Cleveland, but you guys, she is building another brand. What is your new uh, venture? Well, now it's just solely Nick Wolf. She. And personally, for me, I've started doing different things with different schools. And basically, what I'll be trying to do is do more, um, excuse me, more motivational speaking and more so of just trying to teach kids how to use creative writing to be able to escape from everyday living. See, she is such an amazing young woman. I think after the show ended, we like text back and forth. Well, we DM or Instagram back and forth. I'm like, let me give you my telephone number. So, <laughs> and so then we began to text back and forth. We actually began to work together a she little did. bit, you guys. And let me tell you, this young lady, we're celebrating me, but when she texted me and she was like, you know, I wanted to tell you something about yourself and I'm not going to release everything that she wrote, <laughs> but it let me know at the time that I was doing the right thing. Absolutely. Like, you know, like sometimes you question what you do whether people will get it or whether they'll understand it or whether you get you and most people know that I, if you get me you get me if you don't I'm, I'm cool with That's that too <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice to hear especially from uh, when you're trying to reach a young person you know I was like you know how do I reach you know how do I reach moms like me and moms outside of me it's any maternal figure you know listening to the show whatever you can gravitate towards I'm trying to get you guys to listen and to tune into to, to elevate your lives that way so how has your life elevated it. Because of you? <laughs> I mean, because of it's just absolutely amazing. But um, I think that after the last time we met, you kind of, and I won't give out too many details, just like you <laughs> said as well, um, you just put me on path to purpose. And what I what I exactly mean by that is you saw something in me that I didn't at that moment see in myself. And I didn't know where exactly I was about to go next. But then once I actually sat down and we started meeting more often, I was just like, you know what, I know what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm about to start branching off and doing my own thing and still being able to be a part of the Curvy and Cleveland movement, but also being able to be in my own entity as well. And just, you gave me that push to sprout. So well, I definitely happy. want to say yes. thank you. <laughs> She is so sweet and she is so amazing. And so, uh, yeah, so we just started. To, I was like, I don't even want to say like it was meaning. We just I'm like, hey, let's have coffee. We're going to talk about what's going on in your life. Yeah. And, and so and so it really is, you guys, about planting a seed within people. The show is really about planting the seed and making sure that you can live out your best life. Like somebody told me last week, like that uh, phrase is about to die off. And I was like, well, it can't because I'm still living my best life. Like, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? It can't die if I'm in the middle of doing it. Right. And so uh, anytime 
you guys have a suggestion or anything that you want to see new on the show, if you hit me up, I'll be like, okay, let's venture out and see if we can do that. I like adventures. I like being, uh, I hate that when I say this, I'm like, Lord, don't make me too uncomfortable. But <laughs> this is all about being uncomfortable and transparent and letting people in and see who you really are and revealing your authentic self. So I've seen you. You, I've seen you reveal your authentic self to people, and I'm so proud of you. And I'm a proud to be on this journey with you, watching you, because yeah. she is really is like the kids love you, and you can tell that they're like, I yes. love them. I love them. Really so do. I'm glad you were able to come on today and to celebrate with me. I said I was going to wrap up with Nick, but I forgot <laughs> one person. You guys know her from behind the scenes. She gets on the mic every now and again. <laughs> but look, she is looking super cute today, too. Y'all know why she ain't eats around here. I just want to send a shout out and a thank you to Robin Hill of Ooh. Mind Healing Conversations. Let me tell you guys, I was just sitting at home blogging and Robin takes me and is like, hey, you want to come and do, um, what was it, Sister and Y Circle? Yeah. And yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I got on the radio with her one time. And she said, oh, well, we're going to do it again. You want to come do it again? I was like, yeah. So then I was like, I'm going to start podcasting. And she said, you know what? I'm starting the radio station. It's going to be about inspiration and positive people. And she was like, you should come on over and do this with me. And I was like, oh, somebody <laughs> believes in me. Like, and so I just want to say thank you, Robin, for giving me a chance, you know, for one, starting Elevations Radio. And for two, for taking a chance on the kids and letting me come in the studio and do my thing. I really appreciate you. Our pre Mr. McLemore, thank you. Because if it wasn't for him, like saying, girl, they want to see what you look like in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would have come on and done a live show. But I'm here, I'm live, and I'm in living color. And I'm enjoying every moment of this. So, Heidi, I'm going to leave you with this note. Whatever you dream, whatever it is that you want to do, whether somebody told you you couldn't do it or that you shouldn't do it, you've got to know within yourself, like plant your own seed, nurture it, water it. You've got to continue your education to continue to grow, to continue to build your confidence, to be who God has called you to be. It's not this mission is not for everybody. It's designed specifically for you. And so only you can carry out that mission. Guess what, hotties? It's one year. We're still doing it. You've been tuned in and you've been elevated. Talk to you soon.